Yes, sir. What it do, Box Chevy Gang? Back with you with another video. In this video right here, we're gonna be discussing the history of this box Chevy, all the flaws, and all the next steps about to be taken. So uh, y'all tune in with me. We're about to make this thing happen, yes sir. <laughs> Talk. Boom, history of this thing. Boom, history. Uh 2019, end of 2019, December. Uh, I started looking for a box Chevy. Hopped on Craigslist. At the time, that was the thing to go to. Nowadays it's Facebook Marketplace. But uh yeah. Went to uh Craigslist, seen this box, it had 26s on it, clean, clean inside it out. I mean, I haven't touched it really since I got it. Uh Browning wanted 5,500 with the 26s. So uh, I went and took him that. He was in Raleigh. I drove it all the way back to Charlotte with the sixes on it. Uh, anybody know that's a two and a half hour drive. And uh, yeah, it came with a few flaws. Uh, we gonna get into that. But uh, Bruss say uh, he, the history on it, uh, Bruss say he bought the car. He from Atlanta. And he said he bought the car from a guy in Memphis. So if anybody in Memphis is looking at this, this, if you know anybody, look, this might be your car, might be some, one of your homies car or whatever, wooda wooda. This car came from Memphis, Tennessee. Then it went from Memphis to Atlanta. Brush State say he moved from Atlanta to Raleigh. And then the car came, it came to me from now. So, uh, from Raleigh to Charlotte. And I'm pretty sure Charlotte gonna be his, little, uh, his last pit stop for a very long time. So yeah, that's the history on the vehicle. Uh, I went cash brow. He was a cool dude. We shot it up on some Patron, I think. Once the deal was done, uh, once the tidery and everything was notarized, we shot it up. And it was a few months before the pandemic. So uh, it was the, probably the greatest thing I could have did. I went and set it in storage because I hadn't closed on the crib yet. So I went and set it in the storage for about three or four months. And I closed on the crib in uh, April, 2020. And after that, shit, it's been, it's been with me, kinda. So yeah, I, I, I grabbed it, it had the 305 in it. Uh, I rode it around from like, I'm gonna say from, from April up until, the second week in August, I rode it around. So that's April, May, June, July, August. Four months, about a good four and a half months, I rode it around Charlotte, just the way I bought it. And after that shoot, I went, uh, I, I took the rims off, had to find me some factories, had to find the 15s, uh, the 15 inch wheels, uh, had to buy the tires, all that, the white walls. Sold the rims for uh, a rack. So the 26 is for a rack. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna put a picture up for y'all can see how it look too. So the 26 is for a rack. And uh, yeah, it went and sat in the shop. Uh, I went and set it down. It, it was going, it, it was on a long wait list for the LS swap. And uh, I just got it back about a, about a month ago at the end of 2021. So it was at a shop for about a year and some change, just sitting, I'm buying the parts. I spent about $45,000, $5,000 on parts. So that I couldn't just go in the bank and grab that out. I mean, I could have, but I mean, I got a, I got two kids, a wife, a mortgage, and a business. So a lot of things come before this car. But in, anyways, it took me about a year to buy the parts. Got them parts out the way. Started building. And shit, man, we just been rocking and rolling ever since. Just got the car back. And that, that's really the history of the car. So uh, now let's get into these flaws. Look, when I bought the car, bro pulled up on me. We drove, we bent a couple corners. He never popped the hood on me. So I'm like, 
you know, the mechanic in me, like, let's pop the hood. That's the first thing I want to do is pop the hood. Like, it can look good all they want. Like, it looked good. But first thing I want to do is pop the hood. And he had, you know, this wasn't on here. I had, I did this later. But he couldn't pop the hood. And the reason he couldn't pop the hood because the hinges was broke. So I, I refused to buy the car without popping the hood. I just really wanted to see what the 305 looked like. It sounded good. I just wanted to see what it looked like or enough. So we popping the hood. He had to call. He had to call his, uh, his cousin or somebody to help him come pop the hood. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to his peoples that came to help him come pop the hood. And uh, in the process, you can tell the hood got bent, like right around here. The hood got bent, like, cause he was pulling on the hood, like he was pulling, like them hinges was broke, so the hood got bent. So anyway, when I caught the car, I had a bent hood. So the first thing I had to do when I broke the car down was I went to pull apart and I grabbed the new hood off an of 86 Chevrolet Caprice. That's the first thing I did, man. Like, it didn't make no sense of trying to get the old hood bent back in place. Like, it was bent in a few places. It was bent right here. It had, like, a couple little, uh, point, like, you know what I'm saying, push down spots. I'm like, nah, nah. Let's just get a new hood. And uh, it's got to go through the paint shop again anyway. So, yeah. All right, so, boom. That's where we at with it. First flaw was to get this 305 up out of here and get this LS swap done. But we got to get a bigger fan. So that's the first thing we working on is getting that fan done. It still need to get that big boy tuned, but that can come later. So boom, this is out of the way. Cause this ain't no flaw. Even though we got to get that fan working on. Paint job, man. Paint job. Definitely need a paint job. Need my moldings, but got them. Got them right here. These uh, these bumper impacts. They wasn't bad, Weston. Well, it was bad enough for me to get a new one. So I got one for the back and a new one for the front. See all that. Front. That front big time messed up. So definitely had to get a little one for that front. As soon as I get this, you know, the paint job is already, it's already booked. So we got the side motors. Uh, what else I got? We got both of these right here for the back, for the trunk. So I got a new one now. Got a new one in there. Now, I still got to order two of these. I'm gonna go ahead and get two new of those. But the paint job is next, so uh, definitely need to get that done. And I went ahead and got a new one of these. That bitch look good. My fault, I can't even cuss on the two. My fault, that thing look good. So I got a new one of these for the front. So, uh, I think that's about it as far as the paint job. As far as the body, I mean, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that chrome polished. I will do that. I will get that chrome polished. Uh, I think my headlights look good. I ain't touching them. Headlights look good. And, uh, See, as far as the paint job, that's about it. I will be getting a sunroof. Let me not forget about that. I'm gonna take my time on the sunroof though, cause man, my bar on the top looks so good, I don't really wanna touch it, to be real with you. But uh, definitely need a, uh, definitely need a sunroof. Oh yeah, all my trimmings. I need, I need a trim right here. I need a trim on the hood. Uh, definitely want to remove these joints. I want to remove them and get them off of there. I don't really like them like that. Let's see what else I got. Let's see, get that chrome polished. Uh, that's about it when it comes to the paint and the body. 
time this video come out, this thing will probably be in the shop, man. I ain't no telling, man. This thing will probably be in the shop by the time this video hit. So, uh, yeah, going back with the same color, but I'm going back with the OG color, the original, the original yellow beige. This ain't the original yellow beige, it's a little bit darker. This is a little bit darker than the original color. And yeah, after we get that, after we get this paint and body done, man, we move to suspension. Got the, I gotta do my front suspension and the brakes. This shit already on low key done touched the back, but I got those in there. I got them dang on uh the lift cups on both sides. Cause when I when I when I changed the springs in the rear. I ordered them off eBay, like a lot of people do. And when I took them off, the ones on eBay was mad shorter than the ones that came off of here. So I ended up buying some lift cups, getting them shaved down, and getting them put on here just to make my ride look good. But uh, it ain't gonna stay like this. We're gonna eventually do it big. Uh, I'm gonna take my time, and yeah. You all can see I got them new shocks. So I ain't gonna touch this. I, I might not touch the back right now. I really feel like I'm ready for eights. Cause I still had a lot of space, but I don't know. We gonna see, time gonna tell it. I could be not ready for a dang on thing, you feel me? So, uh, yeah, that's that. Let me see, let me see. Let's see what else we gotta look forward to. Other than this suspension, no front brakes, no front and rear brakes. I mean, I'm, I, I really wanna, my interior, my interior clean. I'm not touching this interior. I'm not touching this interior. I mean, as far as getting it done, I really wanna just make it look as factory as possible. That's why I ain't got no stereo right there and not gonna put no stereo right there. This wood grain reel that came with the, with the car, it's gonna eventually get swapped out for whatever shoes go on here. You know how we do, we ride with the steering wheel nowadays. But I ain't in no rush. If I can find a factory steering wheel, that's what I'm gonna do. Speaking of factory steering wheel, I got the factory hubcaps already on the way. I just gotta order these, like I said. I do gotta order these. I need some new ones. I just don't wanna rock with the old ones. Ain't nothing wrong with the old ones. I just don't wanna rock with the old ones. Let's see what else we got. Uh, that's about it, man. I ain't really got too many flaws, man. I, I just gotta take care of this bag. Shout out to them boys in Iraq, cause they helping me take care of these, uh, the, this, these minor parts. Cause uh, that impact strip got there from my rack. All that came from my rack. Side molding came from my rack. Shout out to them boys in our rack, man. So yeah, that's about it on the uh, on the flaws. If anybody know how I can clean this spot or or, or make it look new again, it looked like I don't know when this happened. Cause when I bought the car, this wasn't like this. So maybe it happened while I was getting the swap. I don't know. I'm not blaming nobody. But uh, most I can think of, man, look, this had to happen while I was sitting in the shop. I don't know. It's pretty bad, though. Look at that. Like somebody spilled some ink, man. That's ugly, man. Yo, anybody know how I can get this fixed? Tap in with me, please. Help me out. A brother need helping. All of this. Little spots like that. I don't, I don't already hit it with the shampoo. You know, it did what it could do. You know, it really did a good job on the floor, that carpet. But this right here, I need help with this. And I'm gonna need help with this. Cause uh, I don't see no point in going to no, no interior shop. I'm not finna get no new, one. No, no, I'm not finna do that. You know what I'm saying? I just need help with this. I'm pretty sure this got dirty during the swap part. You know what I'm saying? A lot of mechanic hands, all of that. Yeah. This right here at the top, you know, they got a little couple, a few little cracks. You know, I'm gonna get the stuff like this. I'm gonna take my time. I ain't really worried about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't in no competition. I ain't in no race. 
I'm gonna take my time with that, with shit, with little stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know the interior, I'm gonna get the, you know, I gotta get the brake pedals. I gotta get a uh, rear view mirror. Definitely gonna swap out these when the time come. Everything I'm telling you, the order I'm telling you, that's the order I'm gonna do it. Definitely knew those. Gotta get the chrome one of them, straight from saying, man. Yeah, man. So yeah, the order I told y'all that was finna go down. That's what's finna go down. So yeah, y'all tap in with me. Let me know what y'all think. I'm up out of here though. Yes, sir. So I forgot one more flaw, y'all. This in here, man. These tips, these square tips, these came on the car. When I bought the car, they was coming out the side. When I got the LS swap, they sent them out the back. These is coming off. And matter of fact, ain't nobody gonna see no tips. It ain't gonna be no tips. I'm getting them things shaved down halfway. They gonna stop halfway down there. Last flaw, y'all. That was the last flaw. I knew I missed something. That was the last flaw right there. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. Tap back in with y'all later. Yes, sir.